Hello, I have a very much needed video to film and this is going to be one I've been wanting to film for a while and I'm finally putting it up. I think the timing is perfect for it. This is my self-care video. If you don't know what self-care is, I'm sure you've heard the name like thrown around in the air many times. The self-care is just it's an individualized plan of how to care for yourself when you're feeling stressed or unmotivated or just negativity is embarking on you. I am a firm believer in self-care because it's something that you don't have to spend money on. Like self-care isn't about going out and spending a lot of money. It's something you can do for free. You can go out and spend money if that's your version of self-care. But the best form of self-care is just something that you can do in your everyday life at any time and just create positivity around you. And that is the one thing I have been trying to surround myself with as much as possible lately. If you're unaware, um, I actually haven't talked about this at all, but I went through a breakup a couple months ago, back in like September, early October. It was all through September, but I am now living in an apartment by myself for the first time ever. I've never lived alone. It's been just different. I actually really love it um, way more than I thought I would. It's it can get lonely though, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm someone that can thrive by themselves, but I also am someone that likes to surround myself with people. But thankfully, I have had some really, really awesome friends. It's been going way better than I could have ever expected, and a lot of it is because of my own self-care routine. So this is what I do when I'm feeling like I need a little support for myself. It's definitely not what you have to do because I will be honest, some of the things I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be like, absolutely freaking not. That is, that would give me anxiety. Like, again, this is our own self-care plans. So anyways, um, other than that, like obviously a lot more other stuff has been going on. If you haven't seen my last video, then uh, just don't watch it. Just let's move forward from here. <laughs> I've been leaving that in the past and just trying to be a better version of myself. So let's go on to my self-care plan. The first thing that comes to no surprise is going to the gym. Actually, this is a two-parter. So it's going to the gym and also drinking lots and lots of water. So that's something I have struggled with in the past, but I will show you guys. I got recently this Soji water bottle. I have been wanting one of these forever and a decade. It's been years. Look how, let me turn my ring light down real quick. Oh, that's, look how beautiful this is. It's still mesmerizing. So I have the amethyst crystal. They come in five different crystals. They are all beautiful. I will explain more about this baby here in a second. Um, but on to the gym real fast before I get super sidetracked. Um, that's my version of self-care. I love lifting weights. I love picking things up and putting them down. It makes me feel good. Cardio is not my self-care at all. That is one thing where someone's like, um, uh, cardio is on my plan. That would be on my non-self-care plan. I do cardio. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do it, but I hate it. And I, I get excited to go to the gym to lift. So, yeah. Like I said, there's going to be differences in what we like. Um, I hurt my back recently and I'm going through shockwave therapy at the moment. So I actually haven't been going to the gym. I've been trying to stretch. It's painful though, but uh, I went to the gym and stretched some last week. I have one, two, three, four more treatments of my shockwave therapy. I'm getting a little better. It hurt to move for a while. It's still hurting. It's been like three weeks of this. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, like last week was the worst week out of it. And that's when I decided, okay, Brittany, time to go to the um, chiropractor. So taking care of yourself is very important. It's getting a little better though. I should be on track to go to the gym, not this upcoming week, but the week after. But I have to keep it slow. So like, know your limits. I love working out, but I'm not gonna work out if it's gonna cause me extra damage. You know what I mean? 
So I've been needed extra self-care lately because I haven't been going to the gym because that's numero one for me. And um, it's been it's been hard. <laughs> I, it's not like pity me, but like for myself, it's been hard. So I've been doing all these other things I will show you here in a second. Um, but this beauty, I take to the gym with me, I take to work with me. Drinking water is amazing. If you don't know anything about Soji, their company is um, all like crystal based and it was founded in Salt Lake City, I believe. And it's supposed to be like functional beauty, if that makes sense, and just all about mindfulness and like drinking water and being mindful about it, but also creating positivity and just like manifestation. Whatever you want to happen, if you think about it and manifest it to happen, it will happen. I haven't done a ton of research though. I'm just more about it's pretty, I want to drink the water and the amethyst itself has different healing properties. I actually picked this because of what on the website they were saying that it did and I, I still have the card because I didn't want to throw it away. It also has care instructions because you're supposed to use filtered water in these. Um, and I hand wash mine. They're dishwasher safe but like, I mean this is a glass bottle. I am taking care of this baby. But amethyst is peace, energy, harmony, and intuition because I have been going through a really rough time, Amethyst just like I connected with it and what it was, the message of what it brings to you. So I needed it in my life. These crystals are interchangeable. So just because you connect with one doesn't mean you can't like connect with another stone in the future and buy it because you can just switch it out. Um, you can obviously, you want to keep the glass bottle. You just buy the crystal. I mean, you could buy more bottles if you really want it. You want like a work bottle and then like a workout bottle, like a home bottle. Um, I'll quickly take you through the other stones because I have them pulled up. There's Rose Quartz, which is Love and Tranquility. It's a very pretty pink. There's Amethyst Quartz, which one I just told you. There's Smoky Quartz, which is Protection and Positivity, which is most likely my next one. There's Black Obsidian, which is beautiful, and it's black, and I don't know, just the aesthetic of it is pleasing. But it's Transformation and Purification. Also loving that. Clear Quartz. Clarity and Power, I almost got that one. And then um, Citrine Quartz, which is Abundance and Mindfulness. So literally all of them are, oh, there's six. I don't know why I said five, there's six of them. Probably because there's five that I don't have. Anyways, beautiful. They have large dispensers, which someday when I have a house, I'm gonna have one out because I just think that would be the cutest thing to have, especially when friends come over and they can just get their water out of it. There's beauty trays, and then there's also um, rollers. Almost forgot it comes with a traveling case, which is actually very handy when you're taking it places because it is glass and you wanna protect it because I would cry if this ever broke on me. I love it so much. They did reach out and give me a coupon for you guys, and they created it for 10% off, and it's Brittany XO. So feel free to use that if you're in the market for one of these I'm all over Instagram. I'm just gonna link down the website below Definitely check it out. Just drink water. That's all I'm saying. Keep your body healthy and drink water. Okay, the next self-care that I partake in is with journaling and not the type of journaling where you just write down your feelings, which I always suggest for my students. But um, I actually have a book and I've had this for a while. This is the Start Where You Are journal and I got this off of Amazon. I bought this two years ago. I am still going through it. Um, I have picked it up more recently, so like literally like right after my breakup this time around. Um, and I've been going through all the pages. They are beautiful. Like if you just want a beautiful journal, this is the one to get. I don't let myself do more than like one, two max at a time because I don't want to go through it super quickly. Um, I will point out like I started this winter 2017 and the first page, I don't mind telling you guys what this is, but um, it says like list five things that always and immediately bring a smile to your face and like you can see I try to make this adorable but like I mean at the time I didn't have Oliver so Chester of course brought a smile to my face and I had like working out on there and chai tea lattes which all these things like I have a chai tea latte in my fridge right now, the box mix from the Starbucks Tazo tea. 
I have pugs on here too. It's very therapeutic and it just brings feelings to the surface that um, maybe you didn't even know were there, but like you can focus on them. And I, th I think once you actually acknowledge that you have those feelings, like for me, that's helpful. Um, and I can like move forward and make changes or just having that just acknowledgement in general is helpful. But I love this and it was very inexpensive. I want to say it was like it says $16, but I know I did not spend $16 on this. Um, another thing for me is face masks, and I do not do them often. I should do them more because they make me happy. Um, yesterday, I went to Lush, beautiful Lush, and got the Don't Look At Me face mask, which I feel like is very fitting for me because in public, like, I have a hard time making eye contact when I'm just like out. I will avoid people. Um, not a not a good thing, but <laughs> it's blue. It's like a little Smurf mask. It's amazing. It has exfoliants in it. I told the girl that I have acne, adult acne. She's like, "How old are you?" And I'm like, "I'm gonna be 30, Nicole." But she's like, "I thought that you were 20." I'm like, thank you. I do not. Um, I don't mind that. That's a compliment. But yep, I do face masks. I do. Uh, I don't paint my nails. But that is therapeutic for some of you. So if that's your kind of self-care, I suggest it. Do whatever makes you happy. Self-tanning is mine. I'm still not great at it. Why are my arms so much darker than my chest? That's a good question. Uh, wow. Just, I want to say that the lighting is focused here, but I don't think that's it. I'm still working on it. For a while, I'm just going to be real tan on one end of my body and just like normal on the other. If you drool, let me uh, give you some advice and don't sleep in your self-tanner. This is a seven hour developer, so I didn't want to spin around seven hours just like awake doing it. You can't tell I have a ton of makeup on right here. I'll insert a photo, but it did not go well last night. <laughs> but that's just my life and it's fine. I accept it. Uh, my next version of self-care for myself is sketching. I like, this ends better. I like drawing a lot and I used to do it all the time. I was just that person in school that I signed up for every art class I could. Give me all the arts. A lot of kids don't do that anymore. I don't know why art freaks them out. But I had a sketchbook at home, at my like childhood home. And I, for some reason, threw it away. I think I was just like, nah, I'm not feeling it anymore. And I really regret that. So if you have sketchbooks, don't throw them away. You will want them later. I bought this really pretty one from Hobby Lobby for half off because they're always having deals. And I've been drawing. It's all like, um, I want to say organic paper, but it's an all, I don't know. This is handmade in India. And I just started my first drawing in it the other day. It is definitely not finished, but that is a little Oliver cat in there. And it just de-stresses me and makes me happy. And I love this and I think it's so pretty and I would travel with this. And I'm just excited that I'm getting back into that because it's been a while coming and I missed it. I was always that girl that had non magazines all the time every time once i hit middle school i was just like anytime i went to the grocery store i needed a magazine i needed tiger beads i needed seven oh 17 i missed that magazine i am too old for that now but that was my go-to i learned makeup through magazines i would find an ad in here that i really liked um let me just find one so like this one for instance and then I would cut it out and I would like have it in the bathroom with me and I would just recreate it that is literally how I learned how to do makeup and I'm not saying by any means I am a beauty guru I am not that great at makeup but magazines 17 specifically got me to at least where I am and um this is Cosmo. I do like Cosmo, but at the same time, I don't like it because like half the articles in it, I just don't relate with. I really did not like this specific magazine. So if any of you do like Cosmo and you haven't purchased this, I would just say avoid it. Not for me. Maybe it is for you. I'm not sure. But I love magazines. They make me happy and I don't get them too often. Uh, I don't like having a ton of stuff anymore. But Every once in a while, I treat myself, and that was one that I did recently. I really want to get into that cat fancy magazine. I think that would be fun. 
and then some easy peasy ones listening to music i jam out i jam out so hard on the youtubes and just amazon music i've been listening to a lot of country recently i didn't always listen i know that's a lie i've listened to country since i was little because my mom liked it but like in general i was more into just that like current pop I've been dancing around by myself, no big deal, not embarrassed. People have probably seen me through my window. I 100% am okay with that. It's all about acceptance, really. This might not be a popular opinion, but cleaning makes me happy. It is a very, very much version of self-care for me. I will just jam out to the music, have it blasted on some Gabby Barrett, some Chris Lane, whatever and I will clean the heck out of this apartment. I love vacuuming dishes. Well, I don't love dishes, but I like getting them out of my sink. Just like when I have a clean surrounding, I feel the happiest and the most relaxed. So it's just one of those things like cleaning itself, maybe not a fun thing to do, but the way it makes you feel, that's self-care. That's my self-care at least. So I have friends that are like, you can come over anytime. I would totally come over to someone's house and clean it just even if it's not my mess it makes me feel better so you just listen to yourself I listed a lot of stuff I have a ton of other things that I would consider self-care that I don't probably need to even put on here you just need to find your thing write them down and when you're not in a bad mood or you're feeling like you need a like something to lift you up go to that list and start from the top and work your way down so Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that your December is going beautifully. You had a really good Thanksgiving if you celebrate that. And I will see you guys super soon, maybe. I don't know, that's always just what I say at the end. I don't know. I'm just listening to myself, my heart, and going from what just like, what I want. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video soon, maybe I won't. We'll see. I love you guys though. There's probably gonna be some negative feedback on this video too, just from what happened the last month. For all of my subscribers who have been sticking with me through this and I've seen your messages on Instagram and some of your comments, I appreciate you guys more than you could ever know. And I love you and I will see you guys soon. Okay, 